Up now on the main board, we have our friends Yorg and Karsten versus Tom Myers and, I'm sorry, yeah, Tom Evans and Mark Mayers. I didn't know they were our friends. Yeah. Everybody's our friend. Most. Oh, uh, man, I already kicked up. Oh, Evans is a, it's a not tripod e kicker. No, it's not Evans. It oh. was. Karsten? No. George? Mears. Oh, it was Mears? Wait, is that the other German behind him? Who? Where? The In guy the red? Right? Yeah. That's, that's Karsten. That's oh, the like, German. Yeah, he kicked the tripod. Watch this. No oh, boy. You know that jersey saying fear the rhino? It's fear Charles. He's on the prowl. He looks gentle. All right, so we had to restart the stream so that way we can get the men's side underway. We are now in the Masters Men's Doubles 01 tournament here at the NDA 2017 Team Dart. After four hours of live streaming, Facebook does kick you out. Well, they did this reset thing, and it's weird because it shows that the match it's weird because if you don't refresh you continue seeing the stream but then if you refresh the stream is gone and it says stream four hours ago so it, it resets you you could do continuous which will keep going but it archives it so you can't go back and watch it later on oh my goodness yeah i gotta do some reading up on it all right so if you saw our stream last night you saw the devastation the big mistake made by karsten Oh, yeah, it's on the 15. Uh, Karsten and Jorg were playing Benny and Big Dog, and Karsten came up to the board with winning darts in hand. I don't even—I didn't even know if it was winning darts in hand. No, it wasn't winning darts in hands. It was a point race that he needed. He had one dart left. He should have closed 15, so that. But he they, went bull. But he went. But he went bull, and then Dersh came up, or someone came up, and pointed the hell out of him on that 15, and basically took any hope of them to yeah. complete the match. Wow, and I have a really bad memory, and I, rem I memorized that. I remember well, we that. talked about it for a while last night. Yeah. Well, then they had the separation after the match. One was sitting yeah. on one table, the other was sitting at the other table. It was disappointing. It was a match they should have won, actually. They, would, they, they were in control the whole time, and then uh, just the one mistake. Doing the cork. It looks like Tom Evans won the cork. So here we go. We have men's doubles, 501 Masters. It will be double in, double out, split bull. I think we have some some uh, of our German friends starting to watch. Someone posted your, or uh, commented Jorg with the rock star. Little horn thingies. That is the... The what? Going downtown. Going downtown? With one in. That's not the shocker. Oh, that's not the shocker. Oh, my bad. Oh, my God. No, that's the. Oh, that's the uh, not as nice Aloha. That's rock on? Yeah, like rock on type thing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so not American. <laughs> Tom Evans at the board now getting, getting in on his first start. Now, remember, it is split bull, unlike the women. Oh, and that's a maximum in from Tom Evans, a 160. What a start. Carson hits a double eight to go in. Now the most pressure 
is actually trying to, to double in. Once you uh, get that over, the weight is off your shoulders. Once you get in, the weight is off your shoulders as Mears misses with the first, but hits with the second. Ooh. And I think Mears might like the... No, oh, he was blocked on the 20, so he went down to the triple 19. Yorg, everybody remembers Yorg that I was talking to yesterday. He was unconscious. He was shooting like sixes and sevens averages last night in doubles cricket. Tom Evans now. Going for trip 20s. And a nice 140 there for Tommy Evans. Tom Evans actually participated in the Premier Cup last year. He did. He won, uh, I believe, the very first elite player qualifier? Nope. Oh. No, not elite. Amateur. Amateur, but, that's but right. it wasn't the first one. Alvin won the first one. But he did win a spot into the Premier Cup. Through uh, amateur qualifier. Yep, and he has competed this year to try to win his entry. He's gotten close, but he hasn't uh, taken the win yet. Uh... Someone asked if this is a best of three format. Yes, it is. It's still best of three. So there's no room for error, really. Nice 140 there from York. But Tom Evans sitting at 201 in control in this leg. Ooh, triple one. Moves over to the 18 because the 20 was a little blocked for him. So wanted a better angle or better look as the 18 was wide open. Ah, Karsten is, likes those 19s. Now, we saw uh, uh, Kelly Mears on the stream earlier. I wonder if that's any relation or spouse-wise to uh, Mears here, Mark Mears. We will find out. Tom Evans will come up to the board next with uh, a look at the out. He sits at 124. He doesn't have to he doesn't have to try for it. He could set himself up, use all three yards to set himself up for this next turn at the board, but I think he's gonna go for it. He can go fifty four fifty. He went for it. Uh better shot here would be uh triple eighteen, leave himself double sixteen and does so. Nice starts there from Tom Evans. This is a loser side match. Uh, hold on, let me take a glance at the bracket. I believe it's top 12. Yes, this is a uh, top 12 match. Loser side. Good round there from Mears hitting a 140. Put some uh, pressure on Yorg here because Carson is sitting at an out. Yorg could freeze him. Not going to do it. Could be uh, freeze his partner, but not going to do it. Yes. If Carson gets a look at it, he is frozen. But Tommy only needs 32. Double 16 for the win. And now double eight. There it is. Tom Evans drills a double eight with a second dart to go up one leg to zero over Karsten and Yorg. Yeah, he's like, we don't need to write down my averages. 
Well, he shot a, a 30. I think overall for the tournament. Yeah. Maybe it's kind of like, you know, there's no way. York upset with himself. He can't get in. Taking a moment to recoup. His eyes are deceiving. Can't tell if he's looking at 20 or 19. <laughs> Tom's like a tops. Tom had a maximum in last time of 160. Not going to happen this time. But hits the ton. Nice round for Tom Evans. This guy. Karsten? Triple 19s. Yeah, he loves the triple 19s. Gets in on his first double 16. I think we got a, quite a bit of German viewers. A lot of people out there cheering for Karsten and Jorg. Uh-oh. Mark Mares trying to get in here. 0 for 3. Just heard Tommy say nothing hurt. No real damage done as Jorg is still sitting at 450 and Karsten at 441. Tom Evans start finding that triple 20 with a second for round of 85. Carson coming up to the line. Looking at that triple 19. Carson loves that triple 19. He doesn't have to. It's not in the rule saying you have to go trip 20s and split bull. It's all about comfort and what you feel. Mayors finally gets in on his fourth dart, and Tom throws up a fist pump. Nice. Good yeah. second dart. Yeah, Tom's, pumped up. Tom's excited. Uh, he, he wants to win this. He wants to prove a point. He knows that Karsten and Jorg are, are a good duo, and they have an advantage here being up one leg to zero in this race to three, or race to two, sorry. And you can see nice 140 there from Yog. You can see the uh, intensity and focus on Tom Evans' face. And a big 140 there from Tom Evans. Still not in and out, though. He sits at 176, but Carson's going to come up sitting at 346. Round of 85 there for Cost and Mark Mears stepping up to the line, sitting at 386. Again, it took it took Mark four darts to get in. Trying to play catch up here. Only scoring 68, leaving him 318. Yog now looking to set himself up to have the first look at an out, sitting at 225. Drills a triple 20 with his first dart. And his second. And oh his boy. third for the first 180 maximum round on our live stream today. Puts the pressure on Tommy here. Carson looking just to get down. Jorg is sitting at 45. Mm. 
Now, there's two ways Yord can take out 45. Well, two of the most simplest ways. A single five tops for the win, or he nope. can go 13, double 16. 13, double 16. Are we going to see it again? Yes, there it is. Yep. A maximum 180 for Mark Mayers. But York sits at 45. A chance to even it up at one leg apiece. Just going top. Yep. Nope. 13. Double 60. Now he's going to take a break. Wipe down his darts and hand. He wiped down the wrong hand. He wiped down his left hand. Ooh, double 12 now. Ooh. Oh, and misses inside. This is a break for Tom Evans and Mark Mears. This is a chance for him to win it. He can do this. He can go trip 20, single 16 tops for the win. Even if he hits a single six, single 20, he can hit trip 20 for a double 18. Oh, wow, he went 19. Now probably going to go for a triple 18, leave himself. No. Nope. Wow. Just bad percentage shots there. He should have went for the triple 18, leave himself tops for his next turn at the board, but didn't do so. Carson coming up, not does not have an out at 166. But Freeze. Freeze is in play. He needs to get below 67. So 23, 24 more points. So he needs a triple here or a double. More than likely a triple to freeze. Nope, not enough. 83. Tom has 79. So Mark Mears has an opportunity to be a hero and win it to advance them into the next round, sending the German team home. 138. Hits the first triple. 78 left. Triple 18 and leave himself double 12. Just going to set it up here. Can he freeze? No freeze in play. He wants to get down, but leave himself with a good out option. Hits the 54 to leave himself six. Not the best route to take. But Jorg sits at 12. Needing double six for the win. And drills it with his first dart. Tying it up at one leg apiece. I think Mark Mayers was telling, telling uh, uh, Tom that he knew, you know, he went for the 54 knowing that pretty much that York was going to hit it. He was trying to get down low enough in case York busted. Uh, maybe play for a reverse freeze if Tom didn't have a chance at the, didn't take it out. What happened? The quarter rolled that far? I guess so. Hey, there's Kel there's uh, Grimmel and, and uh, Kelly Mears, so maybe they are married. Mark and Kelly. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six holes out of the bullseye. Tom just needs to get it close for the cork. And is two holes in the bull. So Mares, the team of Mares and Evans will go first and start off this third and final leg of 01. If you're just joining us, this is Masters Level 501. Men's doubles at NDA Team Dart 2017. Top 12. Top 12 match right here. Loser side of the bracket. It is open in, open out, split. I'm sorry, open in. Double in, double out, split bowl. Oh, I was just uh, told by Jody Ward that it, that is Mark's wife. Thank you, Jody. He's 
guys are off to the races. Mayor's at the line now. Needing to double in. Uh -oh. And misses all three just low. I think York's going to come up big here. Wow, he went 19s. Yeah. I'm surprised because he's been dead on on them 20s. Uh, but around a 108. I was a little surprised, too. Tom Evans sitting at 460. Needing something here. It's a do or die situation for both teams. The loser goes back to their room and the winner moves on. Good one, two, five round from uh, Tommy Evans. Wow, a nice round there for uh, Karsten. One, three, three. All right, he needs to get this double here. Mears needs to get in with the first two at least. Oh. This one is oh. now just throwing oh. the dart. Looked yeah. like he rushed his last two. Last two darts, not, I don't know. Unfortunate round there. Jorg is going to try and make this hurt if he hits a triple 20 here. Nope, it didn't hurt that bad. Well, Tommy needs to focus and still uh, maximize his darts. Yes, he has known in the back of his head that he has to shoot. He has to shoot well because he's not going to be out of this. I, I, I it believe. Takes, it'll take Mears two rounds for him to be able to, to sit out and out. Yeah, I, I think Mears is extremely capable of having a big round and getting right back into this leg. I don't believe Mears will freeze Tom if Tom gets down to an out. And a nice round there of 134 for Tom Evans. All right, so right now, Tom, Mark needs to get in here. Because Tom will, as it sits, Tom will have the first look at an out if he doesn't get frozen. Oh, he gets in with his, in, but with his uh, ninth dart. It may not be enough. Five fifty one is what the Germans combined score is currently before that triple twenty. And before that one. And oh my gosh, that that's it. Yep, Tommy Evans is frozen no matter what. Nice maximum score of 180 for Jorg. Well, no, no, no. Plenty of situations can play out. Tom Evans is not at an out currently. He will be after this round. So if Maris can put together, if Carson has an off round, Maris puts together a good round, and Jorg puts together a bad round, Tom Evans could still have a shot, so... But you're asking a guy to have a bad round who's shooting really well, right? Yeah, now. true that. But stranger things have happened. Yes, they have. Oh, this is it. Three fourteen combined total for the Germans right now, and Mares is sitting at four sixty five. Good first start. Yep. Even if he hits a, a trip of 20, it's not going to be enough. But it's not over. It is not over. Okay, so. Wow, Jorg, that, I don't know if that was Jorg. bad math or what. Yeah. Tom Evans is going to try to get down to two or as low as he can. Don't 
Double 12 to leave him two. There yep. There it is. Just in case he gets another look. Carson sitting at 146 now. He won't get another look. I mean, even if uh, Maris hits a maximum 180, it's still not going to be enough. Marison at 364. All right, here we have it. Yog coming up to the line, needing 34, double 17 for the win and to advance. Ooh, double 16, double 8. And there it is. Your winners, Jorgen Carson over Tom Evans and Mark Mears.
Hello, Germany! I know it's around, I'm guessing around 9, 10 a.m. there. What time is it in Germany? Can you let us know? All right, up now we have a winner's side bracket match. I just lost my, oh, there it is. I just lost my bracket, so I know it's a winner's side match. We have Kyle Litke and Willie Bruyere versus Manfred and Christian from Germany. Let's see if I can get my bracket up real quick for the Germans answer. Masters. You should have said Guten Morgen. What the heck? Germany. Is Guten Morgen. German super hours are. It's 8:48 a.m. No. Yeah. Is that yeah. next German superheroes? 8:48 a.m. Makes sense. Hey Siri, what time is it in? Uh oh, somebody kicked the uh, camera. Camera. I think it was Kyle. He's the only one standing next to it. Kyle, don't kick the camera. <laughs> <laughs> like Christian was trying to kick the camera. Off Goots, Jung, Jungs from Ralph. Yes, Guten Morgen from Miak. Yes, Guten Morgen. Off gets Jungs. I can't Mike. Speak. I, is, is, I, uh, that is pronounced Mike. I know that because I've seen the movie uh, Euro Trip. What's pronounced Mike? M A I K. Are we looking at the same screen? Yeah. Right here, look. Oh, his name. Yeah. Mike Vegas. Well, well, that. <laughs> that, yeah, that fits. All right, so we're underway with the cork. Willie Bruyere corks for the team of uh, Bruyere and Lidiger. Lidicky, sorry. Uh, Christian uh, corking for Christian Manfred. Bruyere wins it, and Lidicky will do the starting starting for them too. Morning, guys from Germany. It's eight fifty here. Thank you, David Matthews. Love the Dave Matthews band. <laughs> Thank you, everybody from Germany and Matthew Ream for, uh, for watching, everybody at home watching. Uh, if you're just tuning in, this is uh, the Masters Doubles event, 01. It is double in, double out, split bull. Guy Ferrari comes up to shoot. <laughs> Christian needing to get in here. Oh, and not able to get in. Christian is your 501 singles champion from uh, Friday. Friday night, yep. He won the 501 singles championship. And Willie with a score of 61. Let's see if Manfred can get in. Does so with his first start. Why wasn't the women's masters split bowl? Because we don't make the rules. Yeah. We just stream darts. And sell jerseys. And sell jerseys. And man bags. A round of 60 there for Kyle. But Christian is still trying to get in here. 0 for 4. Ooh, 0 for 5. 19. 11. Gets it on his sixth start. Well, he's good enough to be damaging, so as long as Manfred can focus, continue chopping down the score. Yeah. This is the brother of Misty Bruyere. Yeah. Who's our breakout pl female player on our stream. Manfred. Oh, I thought we were going to see the 1080. 
A 100 ton there for, uh, for Manfred. Curtis says, but they are very good jerseys. Thank you. Kyle now trying to dial in on that triple 20. Missing just low with a second dart. Nina with his third and misses high. Kyle is having a tough time trying to, to score here. And here comes Christian. Nice 140 round there for Christian. Watch next time Christian comes up to shoot. When he pulls his dart back, he twirls it. Does he really? Like he's cocking it. Yep. Wow, only around a 59 for Willie. And again, it's been a long, long day for these players. Started at, what, 10 a.m. this morning. It's midnight here, almost midnight here. And a nice 140 there Manfred's, for Manfred. Uh, in total control. He is on fire. He's... Christian cannot uh, freeze him. They'll be good. Kyle scores a ton there. And watch when he shoots, when he pulls the dart up. Okay. It winds it up. And a 180 for Christian. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. On the way up. No, on the way up. On yeah. the way up, he twirls the dart. Almost like he's uh, getting the dart into position on his uh, on his fingers. Willie does the same thing. This is interesting. All right, Manfred sits at 141. Is he uh, triple 17 first? Nope. One, two, one left. Finds the trouble with his third dart to leave uh -huh. himself 45. Uh -huh. No harm. Nope. Kyle still at 236. Christian will come up to the line at, with 159. That's not an out. Not for double out, by the way. So Christian's just going to work his score down. Has 99 after one. 79, going to look at the 19 now. Willie just starting to heat up. Hit over a ton his last turn at the board. Looking for the trip again here. And does so. Nice one two five for Willie Breer. Leaving himself 107. But Manfred only needing 45. Will he go five tops? Or 13, double 16. Double 16 here to go up 1-0. And does it. What a leg from the Germans. Christian didn't get in until his sixth dart, but still uh, averaging a 29-40, getting all the way down to 60. It didn't take long for him to uh, make those points disappear. Yep. Whereas Kyle and Willie had trouble at the beginning, had trouble scoring at the beginning. They did get in first round, but just had a little trouble. But Manfred and... Uh, uh, Christian did not let up. If you guys take a moment to like and share this post or the stream, we would appreciate it. So you can like our Facebook page and uh, share the post. And Kyle gets in with a big 110. Christian, let's see if he can get in his first round. Took him nine darts last leg. I'm sorry, six darts last leg. And on a second here. Willie tried to change it up after missing the double 20 with his first two, trying to go for the double 16, but was unable still to get in.
It just seems like Manfred and Christian have complete control of this match right now. A nice maximum in of 160 for Manfred. Let's see if Kyle can pick up his partner Willie here. Nice triple 20 with a second dart. Can he hit another one? Oh, just a little high, one hole above it for a round of 85. Okay, Willie has yet to get in his second round, his second turn to the board. And there it is on his fifth dart. Round of 60 there for Willie, but he's in and playing. Bruce Nelson says 170 is max in. Uh, no Bruce. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. It is a max in. Just never, ever, ever attempted. No, because why would you try and hit the double bowl when you have the triple 20? Actually, one. Actually, what? Nothing. <laughs> nice score there from Kyle Lidke, 140. Uh oh. Nice recovery there from Christian. I just think if you go for a 170 in, that's just like trying to show off. <laughs> nice starts. Nice starts from Willie. 135 there. So we have a close game. Yes, we do. Manfred will get the first look. Oh, boy. You know what? I just realized that was brought up. What? Uh, Kyle did not a good thing, and he did not set himself up for, for an out. out. You are right. That's why he's not getting the first look. A uh, big 180 score there for Manfred. One oh six left. 86. Triple, triple 18 here to leave himself 24. Ooh. I'm sorry, Trip 18 would have left him uh, 34. Bad math. Hashtag bad math. Yep. <clears throat> well, he needs to do some work here. Christian, yeah, he's sitting at 258. Possibly could set up a freeze. I think a ton, anything over a ton is going to be uh, really hard to, yep. to take here. Nice. Nice 140 there for Christian. So. It's pretty safe that thinking that Kyle is going to be frozen after this, possibly because 180 won't do it. Not after that one. Good 140 answer, but he is frozen. Manfred needing 26 here for the win and to advance. Again, this is a winner side bracket, so Willie and Kyle will not be out. And there you have it. Manfred and Christian defeat Willie and Kyle to advance on in the winner side of the bracket. Kyle and Willie get knocked down the loser side and still live to fight another day. We'll be right back with the next match of the Men's Masters 01 Doubles here at Team Dart 2017.
on the main board, we have Nate Borland and Jeremiah Millar versus Willie Breer and Kyle Lidke. This is a fifth, sixth place match. Loser side of the bracket, obviously. Let me know. They did the coin flip. Coin flip is underway. And uh, we'll start the cork here shortly. <laughs> All right, where are we at? I know you told everybody. Fifth, sixth place match. All right, top six. This is a little early for this, but it's almost 1 o'clock, right? Yeah, I think so. 12.25, <laughs> we predict we have about you know, two and a half, three hours left to stream. We'll be finished at 3 a.m. Yeah, which is... Uh, 6 a.m. and East Coast. 5 a.m. South Central Standard Time. And uh, tomorrow is the round one of doubles. Team. No, oh, team cricket. Yep, team cricket. So they're playing round robin, so we will sleep in. Yeah. Uh, we'll probably get to bed about five. 4 or 5 o'clock. We'll probably get up at 9, 4 hours sleep, and I get the stream going. Probably Why don't you zoom in on that bowl? 10, 30, 11. Nope, never mind. Uh, where's the setup? All right, so I'm going to guess Millar won the cork. I'm going to have to talk a little softer because Kyle said he could hear us last time. That's because Kyle doesn't focus. <laughs> it's the first person to say that, though. So I'm gonna, we're going to be yeah. considerate. Yeah. So, so I'm going to talk like it's a golf tournament. Yeah. Okay. And there's music playing so they can't hear us. <laughs> Kyle, then he steps up to the line. Uh, if you're just joining us, this is double in, double out, split bull. Gets in on his first start. <laughs> Sharon is looking out for us. She says, how is that okay? People need sleep. We, um... We are machines. Yeah. Yeah. Malar hits... <laughs> wow. Malar is, like, uh, on a scale of 0 to 10, uh, 14 on... It's color red? <laughs> No, scale of 1 to 10, Millar is like a 95. What are you saying? He's like a, he's like a 12 on intensity. Oh, yeah. Well, he's pretty upset because uh, he sunburned like a lobster. <laughs> a lobster. A lobster. I guess he went over to the Cosmopolitan pool and hang out in the sun for four hours with no uh, sunblock. <laughs> and you know what? I'll give it to I'll give it to Maya. When he's this focused, he can be extremely dangerous. Yeah. Same with Borland. But Lidke and Willie are no joke either. And are we gonna see it? Are we gonna see it? Oh, one three five for Kyle. On that note, let me <sighs> I can hear the suds. <laughs> I can hear the train coming. You said that last night. What does that mean? Oh, you never seen the, the, the train commercial for this brand of beer? No, not at all. Oh, man. Google it. YouTube it. It's what they're known for. I bet you anybody can guess. I thought it was, I thought it was Rocky Mountains. But a train was involved. So, one, two, five there for Willie Breer. Uh, Borland's going to come up sitting at 409 for a second turn at the board. Needs one more for 140. And he got it. Nice darts so far being thrown by both teams. Yep, look at that. Greg Nelson nailed it. <laughs> Remember last year when we uh, gave people a challenge? We were here so late. We were giving away free jerseys if anybody would bring us a Adult beverage. beverage yes. Yeah. Nobody took us up on it. I know. Still upset about that. Millar. Oh, are we going to see one? Are we going to see it? Uh, another 140. 
He thought he had it in there, but. And he forgot to press the button. Man, he forgot to press the button. Look, dumb lobster. <laughs> you know what I noticed? Sharon always tunes in when Maya's playing. There's just something going on. Or maybe she only comments when Maya's playing. True, true. Ooh, oh, no. that's not good, Willie. That's a bad round for Willie. A bad time for Willie to be off. Because... Because Borland's going to come Borland's up here. Borland's going to probably get an out. Oh. No. He can have a 144. Oh. Okay, so here's where a uh, break here for Kyle. He can have the chance at the first out. Oh, he needs a triple here. And finds it. Leave himself 132. Millar, though, sitting at 171. Can add can put pressure on Kyle. Gonna look down at 51, trip 17. Oh, and hits the triple two. But it's enough to put extra pressure on Kyle. Because Kyle needs a 132, which is not easy. But Willie, coming back strong. Round of 95 for Willie. She says, Baloney, you know I was watching the ladies too. Mike Maloney? <laughs> All right, Borla needs a good round here. One more triple. And there it, it is. Nice round there for Nate Borland. 140. All right. Kyle and Willie talking strategy on out here. 132. He's all shoot a one, shoot a three, shoot a two. <laughs> Oh, he used the bullseye for a setup. Double bull here for the win. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, man. And you almost messed that I up. I did. <laughs> I couldn't press the button sequence fast enough. <laughs> Millar needing 85, triple 15 first. Tops for the win. Drills it. Millar and Borland go up one leg to zero over Kyle and Willie in this race to two best of three format. If you are tuned into our Facebook stream, please give us a like and share the page or the stream. Sharon says, ha ha, you advise me to go to bed. I haven't seen Maloney watching any of your streams. <gasps> that's because Maloney doesn't play darts. Yeah, that's true. By the way, Sharon, this is the second event that Malar plays. <laughs> Kyle liking the, the double in on the double 15. Millar with his intense self. I don't know if his blood pressure's up or he is just burnt. Oh, wait, he's burnt. <laughs> <laughs> lobster. Uh, he's a lobster beast. Jeremiah the lobster, <laughs> Millar. Willie with a nice double 20 there with his first dart. And drills the triple 20 with his third for a round of 120 for Willie Bruyer. Nate Borland at the line, looking to get in and play. Does so. Looking at the triple 20 now. Say, well, all four of these individuals have been throwing extremely well. It may be... Uh, one or two off rounds, but they are all playing heads up. Kyle's starting to heat up here. One forty for Kyle Lidke.
savior dart right there. Yeah, I really think we need to mic up Malar. No. No, I would just tell him no cursing, but he talks to himself a lot. I want to hear what he says. Do we really want to hear that? Yeah, I do. Let's see if I can read his lips. I, I'll, I'll, I will be the mic. I can read lips. I'm extremely well. I don't know if you knew this, but I can read lips extremely well. I went to classes for it. Is that how you learn English? <laughs> yeah. Level low ton. Borland said, come on. Someone asked, where do the U.S. guys come from? Well, Kyle and Willie are from South Dakota, and Nate and uh, Millar are playing out of Indiana, coin up? Yep. Indiana, yep. One hundred and eighty for Jeremiah Millar. Maximum round. Oh, not a good time for Willie to have an off round. It's a round of 48. Borland up at the board now, sitting at 348. Look at that focus. Willie got lucky. Borland only hit 36 points there. They're all wearing shorts like they're in Vegas. I know. What the heck? And there's a nice triple 20 with his third dart for round of 83. Millar focus and as intense as ever. See what he said? Yeah, he said, come on, get it. Nope. He said lobster bits. <laughs> you know what we should do to him? Or you know what we should, what we should do is tomorrow we go to the store and we come back and we uh give him a stick of butter so that way when he goes out <laughs> to the pool again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Nice shot there from uh, Nate Borland. Well, it looks like one of the rubber bands that went around Maya's claw ripped off because he still has the one on his left hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> and the win, Borland and Malar take the 2 0 over Willie and uh, Kyle Lidicky. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing so hard. I'm sweating. Oh, okay. Oh. Sharon Butler called you an idiot. <laughs> Boy, she was plural. It was both of us. <laughs> All right. So there you have it. Nate Portland and Jeremiah Millar win two legs to zero over Willie Breer and Kyle Litke. That knocks, <laughs> that knocks Willie and Kyle out of the tournament, placing fifth, sixth.
Up on the main board, we have. Oh, oh, you know what? We got to give them their score sheet. Back. Oh, well, you're probably should go get them their score sheet. <clears throat> Up on the main board, we have Kenny Doyle and Nick Selipik versus Christian and Manfred from Germany. Kenny and Nick are from Florida. And if you're just tuning in, this is a Masters double, <clears throat> doubles 501, double in, double out, split bull. And this is a match for the king seat. I'll be back. Going to give them the sheet. All right, back to business here. All right, time check, time check. It is currently 1248 here in Las Vegas. Ah, it feels like it's 248. <laughs> Uh, remember when we got to get up in <clears throat> what, about five hours and 15 minutes? Yeah. So here's the situation. We have Kenny and Nick playing Manfred and Christian for the king seat. And on the other side of the aspect, we have, did it update yet? Nate Borland and Jeremiah Millar playing another German team. Uh, would be Jorg and Karsten. For what place? That is for fourth. <clears throat> so the match after this would be third and then final. Yes. So time check, what did you say? 12.48. So 12.50. So we may get 2.30? I'd say about 2.30. That's what yeah, about. Last night we were 2.20 last night. Yep. Someone got mad at us earlier. Why? Well, we went and we closed the stream at like four. Yeah. <clears throat> we got food, went back to the room, tried to doze off for an hour. So maybe a total of three hours. Yeah. And someone sent a message all like, we want to watch women starts. Or how come the stream's not on? Yeah. I'm like, dude, like you realize that we stream for 15 hours a day. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, calm down. You go to work and put in a 15-hour day, four days in a row. Well, it's not even that. We just got well, like, to rest every now and then. The other, the other thing is <clears throat> there's so many different levels and so many different uh, events going on. It's hard. It's, it's, okay. it's a no-win situation because if we, play, if we play the lower levels or the women – then we get complaints about not the not showing of, off the the masters the levels of play, right? Yeah, but if we don't take a break, or if we do take a break, and wait for <clears throat> the higher levels, then it's a lose lose situation there. Well, put it this way: too many too many levels, and there's only so much time. Yes. So, pretty much, it's if you're not in masters and level one, and possibly level two. Yeah, because we did show a level two final earlier. Yeah, it's hard for you guys to get on the stream. Rightfully so. I mean, you have to earn your way there. Absolutely. But I think next year we'll bring in the other server and have a non-commentary stream going. And which I completely understand. Everybody wants to see their local player back home, you know, playing. Kenny Doyle started off for the team of Kenny and Nick. <clears throat> nice start there. <coughs> Round of 115 for Kenny Doyle. Christian. German check. Are the Germans in the house? Where's our Germans? It should almost be afternoon. 
Hey Siri, what time is it in Germany? Oh wait, I don't have Apple. <clears throat> wait, I do. Hey Siri, what time is it in Germany? It's 9.51 a.m. Germany, it's 9.51 a.m. Oh, look at that, my Android beat your iPhone. So, Nick gets in on his first dart. A round of 68 there for Nick. 9.52, there's our German friends. Whoa. Manfred trying to get in here. 0 for 2, needing this one. Oh. Uh, 0 for 3, Kenny and Nick get a break here. And a 180 for Kenny Doyle. If you think this is going to be a boring match and Christian and Manfred are going to walk away with this, yep. you uh, need to check your self. Yes. Doyle is a great shot. So is Nick. And these two gentlemen are no slouches. That's why they are up here in the top four. Watching from Budapest, Hungary at breakfast. Thanks for the stream. You know, you know what? Thank you, Glenn, for watching. And everybody else at home. This is what we're all about. Being able to bring, bring you the best stream possible so you can watch from the comfort of your own home if you can't make it to the event. Manfred, it will get in this round. <clears throat> oh, come on. This is a repeat. Go down 16. There it is, 14. 14. No fist bump zone here. No, not at all. It's going down. And that's a good setup shot because he hit the single 19 with his third dart, which gives him 110 <clears throat> and gives him, gives him options. And a nice shot there from Christian, 125. No matter how many times I come to Vegas, I always forget how dry it is here. Good shot there from uh, Nick, 140. No matter how many times we come to Vegas to do a live stream, I can't forget how long the days are. <laughs> <clears throat> Manfred, once in, uh, is maximizing his rounds. But Kenny Doyle... Comes the line with an out, 110 needed. Again, it is double out, split bull. Double in, double out, split bull. And that's a freeze. Yes, it is, for now. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, it is. Nick coming up the line, sitting at 252. He's just going to want to get down, making sure that he does not freeze Kenny because Manfred is extremely capable of hitting a big round. He hit a 180 last time at the board. One eighty, be 113. Not enough. All right, Kenny Doyle stepping up to the line, needing 12, double six here for the win, and to go up one leg to zero over Christian and Manfred. Oh, no, oh, he missed no. low. Hit the double 10. But Christian here is still frozen. Man. Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Mm 
Whoa. Oh, 34. Yeah, I would just go double 18. 36. No, I wasn't thinking, and I was like, oh, my God, he's just going for the out. <laughs> Which would be a bad idea because it's an automatic loss if you hit it. Yep. Nick's just going to work his score down. Wow, I'm surprised he fit that third dart into that triple 20. Thought for sure he should have went down on the 19, but proved me wrong. Nothing Manfred can do here to unfreeze. There it is. Wow, he almost missed high. <laughs> and busted in the double 13. He knew it. But hit the double six to go up one leg to zero over Christian and Manfred. You know, it's it shocks me. It doesn't really shock me, but it impresses me uh, when, like, let's say uh, Christian and Manfred here, coming from Germany, and they've been up playing since same as everybody, you know, 9, 10 a.m., and they're still going strong at, what time is it now, almost 1 a.m., it is 1 a.m., jet lag. It's like being up all night back at home for them. Yep. Okay, so Miguel Fernandez has something going on, a man crush on Kyle Lidke, uh, because he just said the commentators don't want to see Kyle get this far. Someone's in love. That is completely 100% not true. We do not play favorites to anybody. Well, yeah, we do. I well, do. Well, we do. But if, but you know, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean. But I, I personally like Kyle. I've met him a few times. And... Uh, I hung out with Kyle last week. Yeah. Kyle doesn't want to play double bull with me. <laughs> he lost three times in a row. But uh, someone has a man crush. <laughs> Germans don't know jet lag. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Nick needs to get in here. There it there is. There you go. Uh, the Masters event this morning was. There was no Masters oh, there event was no this Masters. morning. It was uh, all the other levels. Oh, that's right. So they actually got to sleep in. Yes. Good for them. Because there was no Masters today because today was the final day of uh, bracket play for the team. 501. 501 events for levels one through however many there is. Masters finished their bracket play yesterday, whereas level one and down went two, through two days of pool play. Then on the third day, it is bracket play. Whereas in the Masters division, there's only one day of pool play. And the second is straight into bracket play. And there another 180 for Manfred. Man, nice looking jersey. A ton round there for Nick. Still uh, somewhat of a tight race here. If anybody had the advantage, it'd be Manfred. Kenny's sitting at 306. Taking aim at the triple 20. Hits it with his first and his second. Perfect. Perfect placement with his first two darts. Oh, no. I see that. Yes, this is the hot seat match 
So the winner of this advances to the king seat. Loser of this goes on to play for third place. And will have to earn their way back to the championship. Are we going to see it? Oh, 180 from Nick. Nice round there. Wow, an off round for Christian, only scoring 38. County trying to get a score down. Ah, uh, he's going to go down 19. Oh, no, no, he decided to stay there. So Manfred sitting at 179. Going to try and put some pressure on uh, Kenny as Kenny is, is going to have first look at an out sitting at 98. Manfred gets down to 84. Nick hit a ton 80, his, ton 80 his last turn at the board. Hits a, oh, 83. Mm. I thought that third one was in the triple 20. <clears throat> Good one, 40 round for Christian. A little upset with himself why he didn't hit that last round. But Kenny Doyle needing 98 points here for the win. Remember, it is split bull, double out. Not able to do it. Oh, the dilemma, the dilemma. What do you do here? Oh, oh he tried for the triple 18 uh, to get down to six. So that way he didn't freeze Nick. Oh, no, he can't no, freeze he can't Nick. can't freeze Nick. He's at 57. 64 left, triple 16, double 8 right here is the proper way to do it, or uh, the best option, I should say, st statistically. Oh, my oh, goodness. What a great shot there wow. from Manfred. 14, double bull. And just like that, we are even up at one leg apiece. Lobster. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I can handle that anymore. <laughs> wow, for for 203 viewers, the chat is actually pretty quiet. Yeah, you guys are putting me to sleep. Uh-oh. That's a miss. Yep, this is the cork. Oh, and Nick hit nails a double bullseye to win the cork and to go first. Or is it uh or is it choose to go first or pick game? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, they better have a. Both players need to be on for team. Yep. <laughs> and Kenny is still stroking them darts. Around an eighty there for his in. Do you think Sharon's mad at us for making fun of Maya and she left? Yep. Just don't make fun of my lobster. <laughs> my little lobster roll. Oh, uh oh, Christian on. needs to get in with his third dart. 14. Yep. Man, I know what these guys throw. <laughs> Another 14. 
Well, I think the reason behind that is they go for the left side or right side of the board is the fact that they can miss. There's basically a general area of 14, 11, and 8. If high they low. miss high, low, yeah. Manfred's going on top, son. Gets in on a second. Ooh. Around a 60 there for Manfred. Well, everybody's in. Kenny Doyle with a round of 82. Christian hitting 95 points there. Both teams starting to slow down a little bit. That was a good triple there on his last dart. Well, the hall here is still pretty busy. It's pretty loud out there. Oh, it's packed out. It's still packed here. There we go. Nice 140 round there for Manfred. Kenny Doyle with a 100 there. All right, so Nick coming up, sitting at 376. Again, this is a uh, third-place match. As we just seen Kyle Lidke and Willie Breer get eliminated by Jeremiah Millar and Nate Borland, they took fourth place. Manfred with another 140. Oh, man, not a good round there for Kenny. Only scoring 59 and not able to get down to an out. He would have been the first one with a look at an out. Actually, I stand corrected. Manfred has a look at an out. Trip 20, trip 17 bull. But Christian with a ton 80. What a round there for Christian. Maximum score. <laughs> Maximum score. Energy levels down, Joel. I know, I know. I needed another. And there it is, another 180 from Nick. Good answer. Back-to-back -back 180s from Christian and Nick. Uh, other side of the bracket. This is uh, third place. On the other side, we have Malar and Borland versus uh, Jorg and... Karsten from Germany. They're battling it out right now on a different board. The winner will come over here and play the loser of this match for third place. Yep, looks like Borland's in the background, so that match is over. Hmm, deceiving. Usually I can tell by body language if they won or not. 
I was thinking the same thing. But he was walking pretty fast, like he had to go to the bathroom, like he had to come back for a match. Nope, he went to the bar. Nope. Nope. Walked down the hallway. 58. 18 tops. Ooh. Double 10. I don't know what he's thinking about. Maybe he's just taking his time, getting his composure. Ooh, oh, way wow. Off. Way off. That was almost bad. Nick sitting at 136, which he's frozen as well. Now Manfred for a look. I understand he wanted to keep it on the board for freeze, but almost hitting a triple and busting is a different thing. Are we shooting for the inside? Yeah. Way inside? Way inside. And there it is. It. Manfred and Christian defeat Kenny Doyle and Nick Selipik. Two legs to one. But Nick and Kenny are not out. They will wait to see who the victors are of Jeremiah Millar and Nate Borland. It is Jeremiah because look at the way he's walking. Look at our lobster. Look at our lobster. Uh, they, yeah, they definitely. Yeah, they won. They won. Otherwise, they wouldn't be walking over here. No, look, they're watching. Yeah, they're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop it. I can't do this. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> you should not have said that joke about law. <laughs> I know. Now, every time we look at him, we think about that. Oh, if you didn't if you didn't hear it, I'm not going to repeat it. Okay, so up next, we'll have Nate Borland, Jeremiah Millar versus Kenny Doyle and Nick Selpick for uh, third uh, place match. Uh, third place, that's right. I think I can spell their names. I should hope so. You make their jerseys. Well, an L is not a good start. <laughs> well, Bluetooth sucks on this thing. Millart. Millart. <laughs> My bad. Is that like Paul Blart? Oh, that's why he doesn't have the band on that arm. He throws darts with his right hand. <laughs> oh, my God. He's going to hate us. He really is. He won't go back and watch this. No, no, he won't. But everybody will tell him. Everyone's sleeping. No one's going to go back and watch this. Well, after this will be the finals, and then we'll log off for the night for the second session. We'll be back for day three, well, four. I guess if you want to count Thursday, there was a blind draw. You can't, uh, I don't know if you can count Thursday. But the live stream, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, day four tomorrow. Borland's putting on his sleeve like he's about to dig his hand into the ocean and grab some lobster. <laughs> oh. How do you think uh, Millar got here for this weekend? Uh, like, like probably deadliest catch, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that's king crab. Never mind. How much trying to bet that he doesn't eat shellfish? <laughs> Reminds too much of his relatives. <laughs> I 
cannibalism is not good. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, crap. Man. It has been a long day. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get delusional. Did I spell Celtic correctly? What? Is it the correct Doyle? Celtic, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I gave you the sheet. You copied it off the sheet. Man crush is going on. Piney, who are you telling stop it? Me? I didn't do nothing wrong. All right, here we go. Cork has been thrown. Underway here for a third place match. Kenny Doyle and Nick won the cork. Malar with a look of intensity. You can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> it reminds me. It's a great song on a jukebox we can play. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Nick Selpik. Nice. Oh, oh, I thought that was in the triple 20. 103 there for Nick. Nice in for Borland. Looking up back up at the double or triple twenty. Now here's here's what's gonna be interesting as we've been watching and I know Malar and he gets really intense and serious and likes to stay focused, but early this match so far, he's been chatting with the other team. A friendly chat. And a one hundred and eighty nice. from Kenny Doyle is can we can uh, Millar stay focused enough to throw as well as he does when he's 100% focused and, and intense in the, in the leg? Yeah, when he uh, chats and is not uh, focused, he, he's definitely like a fish out of water. Yeah. By the way, Millar is playing, so Sharon is probably on the chat. <laughs> no, I think she's tired of hearing us. And a nice round there for Nate Borland. One three five scored. Can Kenny Doyle do it again? And yeah. another 180 for Kenny Doyle, back to back 180s. And he look at Millar. It looks like the you know like the, they took the wind out of his sails there, or like he got caught in a trap. <laughs> but you see how normally Maya would not talk. No, and normally he would be more intense right now. Yeah. He'd be half. He'd be actually angry. Yeah, he would be pissed. But hey, he's having fun, so. Borland coming up, sitting at 259. Nothing he can do, but chop it down and hope that uh, 
Doyle doesn't take us out. Oh, 137. Not bad. I'll get him the second look if uh, Kyle doesn't hit this. One dart at it. And there it is. Kenny Doyle with, with the out. Going up one leg to zero in this third place match. What did he shoot? Four, four, one, seven, five? Four, one, seven, five. Wow. Uh, Borland shot a 42, 11. Shot higher. It's, it, didn't, it didn't feel like it. See, and here's the thing is, Millar just shot a 27, and normally he's not this calm when he shoots a 27. Yeah. And he's trying to get himself motivated again. He ran up to the line and ready to go, but it's just not the same. When you have to go in and out of the intensity, it doesn't I, work. I understand, you know, friends and friends, whatever, but you're shooting a match, top three. Maybe it's just fatigue, too. Well, it is very straining when you're out in the sun for four hours getting burnt yeah he looks like he got cooked pretty good Boiling. also these guys did get knocked in the loser bracket pretty early in the tournament yep so they're fighting their way back clawing Borland gets in on the third dart 16 as expected uh oh what's going on the joke was cracked. All right, I'll move the camera. Someone says fatigue that starts is not a marathon. Uh, it may just be darts, but when you're standing, walking around, throwing darts for, uh, let's just say, 15 hours a day, four days straight, it takes a toll on your body. It doesn't matter. Well, you're throwing something. Yeah, so you're using throw, muscles. Yeah, I mean, you go out and you throw a baseball around for three hours straight, your arm's going to get tired. See, when you throw <clears throat> throw a dart, not only does your bicep muscle get tight, your forearm, uh, your elbow joint starts aching. Your leg, because you're the, when you lean forward, all the yep. weight on your front foot, your ankles, feet. So it takes a toll. Pro dart shouldn't be a marathon. She is up. And Millar is throwing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good round there for Jeremiah Millar. He decided to change it up, go yeah. to the 19. Yeah, a little adjustment. Oh, yeah, thank he you. set himself up with an out. Yep. Thank you, Scott says. Don't forget your shoulders also. In my neck, in my back. And your crack. Little uh, uh, loud talking going on in the back area. Hey, look, it's Abby Livingston. I just realized that both teams have, or German teams, were eliminated. Mm, who's on the hill? Oh, wait. No. Christian and Manfred are on the hill. Oh, Jorg. Oh, oh okay. I think it's Jorg and... Uh, da, 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 Double Bull. Karsten. Oh, Oh, 
Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, man. This way I can't even think. Hey, look, it's Abby Livingston. <laughs> Nice shot there by Kenny, leaving himself 36. Nate needs a good round here. He's in at 299. He needs to put a freeze on. And Nick's at 218, so the freeze it might come into play here if Nate can't get down. And that might have been the... Nice 140 shot there. Much pressure. <clears throat> Ooh, that wasn't good. Is he short? Man, By he six? is short. Wow. Oh, you mean? There's no freeze. Double eight. Whoops. And he cannot believe that. Oh, Borland is looking, taking a look. He, uh, a power Borland out of back away right now. Oh, well, yeah. Kenny Doyle with a chance to win it. No, Kenny's frozen. So it's all good. He's going to go 34, 34 to leave himself two. 17, leave himself two. So Borland has to look at an out. No, there's no out for 159. Oh, shit. Whoops. <laughs> Borland could put the freeze. That one is two. All right, well, Millar's going to have that visit one more time. Well, now, if Nick gets a ton, he freezes Millar. Uh-oh. 92. Yeah, Millar is frozen. Those two missed darts at the double eight, costly right here, and could knock them out of the tournament. Kenny Doyle with three chances at a double one for the win and to advance to the finals. And hits it with his first dart. There you have it. Kenny Doyle and Nick Selpik beat Nate Borland and Jeremiah Millar two legs to zero to advance to the finals.
Well, it looks like they're ready to start. This is the Masters 01 final. And we have Joel in the background coming in to walk in. He will repeat everything I just said, which wasn't much. Wins the cork by one hole. And we're underway. Kenny Doyle will start out. Mike's too far. Kenny Doyle will start out this uh, final. This is going to be a tough, tough task at hand for Kenny and Nick. They have to double dip Christian and Manfred. I'm not saying it can't be done. It's just not going to be easy. Well, these first three darts are going to be telling. A nice one four eight in for Christian. Your 501 singles champion from... Friday night. Christian, that is, from Germany. And the way Manfred's been shooting, uh, I expect him to uh, do, do quite well as, as well. Really, I think these guys are just going to run away with it. You think so? I think so. It's a final. It all depends on if how Christian and Manfred dealt with the, the small break that they had. Uh, Kenny and Nick played probably, th what, three matches back to back to back. So have the advantage of uh, still being loose and in a groove. Apparently. Uh, 180 there for Kenny Doyle. We have some Kenny Doyle fans on the on the feed. Still pretty close uh, match here. No one jumping uh, too far ahead. Nice one forty there from Nick. Frustration on that, on that uh, from Christian. Are we going to see 140? Oh, only a ton there for Manfred. <laughs> so it was funny the other night. I think it was last night. We went outside to go get these gen gentlemen. And... Uh, we ran into Manfred outside having a, a a smoke break, and he goes. Charles asks him, "So, so in Germany, how do you another 180 there for Kenny Doyle in Germany? How I, I didn't say in Germany. Oh, I'm I sorry. Said, is your name Manfred or Manfred? And his response was, "In in, in the United States, it's Manfred." In Germany, it's Manfred. <laughs> so obviously, Man Manfred has a, a good sense of humor. Uh oh. Oh boy. Ah uh, no, he's not in danger of freezing. Uh, Kenny Doyle's gonna come up with seventy-eight left. Think he would go uh, triple eighteen, double twelve. Uh, someone says, call him Manny. Single 20. Tops for the win. Ooh, oh, man. High. Well, Christian's going to get a look. Yes, he is. 116. Trip 20, single 16, tops.
Gonna stay there. Oh man. Yeah. Now, I don't know if he's gonna stay there or not. Maybe move a little bit to his left to get a better angle at the twenty. Because if he hits the triple twenty, he leaves himself sixteen, which is double eight. Whatever he does, <clears throat> he's gonna need some points because he wants to possibly put a freeze on, if possible. I mean, he doesn't want to go trip eighteen because that leaves him twenty-two. Yeah, he tried for the trip 20. Now, are we going to see it? And yeah. a 180 for Nick Selipik. Great timing there. And more than likely, he will freeze. Christian, if Kenny can't hit tops. Nine. Uh, Darren says, running away, huh? LOL. And there it is. Kenny Doyle takes out 40 to win the first leg in this final. Going up one leg to, one leg to zero in this race to two best of three. Loser will start. Double 14. Ooh, that was close to the triple. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Not a good round for Doyle as he missed all three doubles to get in. Manny looking to make it hurt. Only a 108 there. So it didn't hurt, hurt too bad. Nick taking a book out of the Germans page, going to double 14. All right, Christian coming up to line. Wow, that took a little, little longer for the player change. Mess Christian up a little bit. All right, here we go. No harm, no foul. Kenny's still trying to get in in round two. Does so on his fifth dart. Score of 60 there. Billy Crossland says, thanks, Charles and Joel, for the speed and the crew. <laughs> we are the crew. <laughs> he also says, you guys must be tired. I'm not too bad. I'm actually going to go out and hit the craps table after this. And you know what? I'm like the Germans. I don't need sleep. What's pff, What's sleep? <clears throat> Manfred going to come up to the line, sitting at 308. Nothing too out of hand here, even though Kenny Doyle couldn't get in uh, in the first round. Took him uh, five darts to get in. As I say that, Manfred is... Oh, wow. Oh, nice. nice. Shoots a 174 there. Uh, 
Oh, wow, tough break. Christian having a hard time finding the triple here, which could benefit Kenny and Nick here. Yeah, but uh, Manfred seems to be on. <clears throat> Good trip 19 there from Kenny. Round of 96. Manfred needs to do two things. Hold on. He's going to go after the trip 20. Now single 16, leave him tops. Ooh, inside. He needs to do two things, which was um, freeze. Set himself up and freeze. And the other thing is zip up that uh, jersey a little bit and untuck your collar. <laughs> Unfold. Unfold, whatever. All right, good round there from Nick. Scoring 100. And we're going to start getting more and more people working their way up towards the boards because they're getting down to the nitty-gritty in the other uh, divisions. And it's going to get really loud. It's going to get really loud, and I'm glad we're almost done. Tops for the win. <laughs> that was kind of a creeper voice. There it is. Hits it with his first to tie it up at one leg apiece here in the final of the men's doubles Masters 01 event. This is for all the marbles for the Germans who are sitting in a king seat. If Nick and Kyle win this, we're playing a whole nother set. Yep. It looks like a single. One hole in. No, oh, that's, that's one double. hole in double. Yep. One hole in double. Oh. One hole out of the double. Man, that's like the best feature this weekend. What's that? Looking, being able to see the pixels. So the payout here yeah, for the winner. The for the winner, the winner will receive fifteen hundred and thirty dollars. A little bit of a that's weird. A odd that's not a number. Yeah. And second place will receive twelve twenty. Not a bad payday. Opted to go with the with the double twenty. Not his uh, no, usual double 14. Yeah, normally double 14 in. I need a blanket so I can go to sleep. <laughs> We need massage chairs. Yes. Where was that lady from Caesars earlier? We had those chairs at my house, the recliners. <laughs> Kick it up. Problem is, I wouldn't make it through two rounds of a tournament this late. <laughs> I'd be passed out. <laughs> All you hear is a... <sighs> from my CPAP. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, he had a ton. No, no, he went for uh, 20, 40. Yeah, I've seen that. Double 20, Double second 20. dart. Yep. Christian looking to maintain that lead. And there's not really any pressure here on Christian and uh, Manfred. As they are in the hot seat, so they, so Nick and Kenny have to beat them, not only this leg, but in three more, or two more legs. I think I already said that. Oh, I'm sorry, I was yawning. I think. Hey, 
pace is a little uh, slower. Yeah. Scoring's gone down a little bit as well. We're seeing a bunch of tons and uh, and so earlier, a bunch of ton 80s. Not so much anymore. You're seeing more 85s, 90s. Again, it's uh, it's just been long. It's been it's a, been long a day. very long day. And we've been sitting down over here working. They stand up all day and yep. throwing darts. Yeah, there's some super annoying people behind us. Yes, there is. 19. See? Yeah. That's the people out here behind us. Nick has to step back from the line because an individual is being extremely loud. You know, it was so good the first couple days. I was quite surprised about how none of the stuff that's happening now actually happened in the first couple of days. Mm -hmm. And what's happening is someone is upset with their partner for something is what I understand. And he is venting to somebody, but venting extremely loud really at the loud. top of his lungs. Yeah. Kenny Doyle with a big 125 there. Sets him up for an out 145 for his next turn at the board. Kenny could force this to another match. He can. Christian, nice dart with his last one, triple 18. Setting himself up with 160 for his next turn at the board. Giving himself an out. One forty there from Nick. To take this into another match. Oh. He's going to stay there with a trip 20. Hits it. Leave himself 50. Now Christian needs 160. Trip 20, trip 20, double 20 for the win. Big out. And to be crowned doubles 01 Masters Champions. For a second here. title of the weekend. Yeah. That's one. Oh, man. Uh oh. All right. Gonna go trip 20 to leave himself 16, which is double eight. Here it is, double eight to force another match. And we got oh it. Oh my gosh. And Manfred and Christian can't believe it. Now the pressure is gonna build here. They're gonna flip and diddle here for the start of the next match or next le or next match. Sorry, this will be the final of the final.
So Manfred did the diddling for his duo. One hole in the into the bowl, but Nick drills the double bowl. All right, here we go. Race to two. One last match. One last match. If you are just tuning in, this is the absolute finals of the Masters 01 doubles event. Here at NDA Team Dart 2017, this is Red Arena Productions bringing you this live stream from Valley's Hotel and Casino. The format is best of three, race to two. So it's race to two. First two wins. Also, it is double in, double out, split bull. Manny going back up to the 20s. Normally shooting at the double 14 to get in. Okay, but everybody's in. Yeah, everybody's in and playing. I think everybody's going to be a little bit extra focused here, especially Christian and Manfred as they let a leg go. Nick hit a big out to force this. And a nice round there from Kenny Doyle. Kenny Doyle has really tight grouping. Yes, he does. Nice 140 there from Christian. You know what I see with a lot of uh, the international players here? is that they still use the old paper flight. Yep. Well, except for Manfred's. Yeah. Nice. All right. It is officially 2 a.m. here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And at 2 a.m., Kenny Doyle, oh, I was going to say hits a 180, but hits a 140, leave himself 167. But at 2.01 a.m., Christian hits a 180 <laughs> to leave himself 93. Now, this is going to be um, – this is an important leg here because if whoever falls down one leg to zero in this race to two format is going to have much added pressure on themselves. Dang, it's 4 o'clock in New Orleans. Darren's still watching us. Well, Darren's going to watch Christian take a and look at the uh, at out. 2.01, Manfred hits at 180. So that's 2.01.80s in a matter of less than 60 seconds. Fifty-seven. Double oh bull. Oh Double bull for the win. Oh. oh, man, just two holes outside of the double bull. Man, that took me off guard. <laughs> so now who's up? Christian? Christian Christian's 93. up with 93. Let's go trip 19 first. Misses. Oh, man. Even he can't believe that one. Wow. Wow. 
Nick needs one more triple. Oh. He didn't need it, but. Possible freeze. Possible freeze in play here. So, yes, he did need it. Oh, boy. Playing for the freeze. There it is. Single six. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, it, it had me second guessing there for a second, but it was only 42. Lean four. Freeze is in play. Kenny's just going to try and get down. Try and score maybe 23 points. Leave two for himself. 16 here. Got to push the button. Christian with a chance to win it here. Needing double seven for the win. And to go up one leg to zero. There it is. Christian drills that double seven. Going up one leg to zero over Kenny Doyle and Nick Selipik in this finals Masters 01 event. You know, what we've seen so far in this final is nobody has really been struggling to get in. And if they do, it's momentarily, and they come back huge with uh, some, some big scoring to get themselves right back in the match. Yup, oh, someone kicked. It's amazing how I can hit that when it's moving. <laughs> Manfred up now. Switch over to double fourteen. Nice recovery. Yes, it was. Right when the board stopped moving. Usually he would uh, throw a second one at the double 20, but too much at stake here. He knew he can get in with the double 14, and he did on the second. A nice 140 there for Kenny Doyle. Oh, wow. That is a very bad break. Good break for uh, Nick and Kenny. Bad one for uh, Christian Manfred. Take that. Yeah, nice ton there. All right, let's see if uh, Kenny Doyle can capitalize here. He's the one in control. Oh, man. Oh, wow, only 60 there. So now the control is going to go back to Manfred. Possibly. Needs all, all, over a ton. Is he going to do it? Will he do it? He did, he did it. it. He done did it. 180 there for Christian. At what time? Oh, at 2.07 a.m. Las Vegas time. Kevin. Nick Selipik with a ton 80. Stamp it. At 2.07 a.m. <laughs> Man for trying to answer back. It does so with a 140.
Kenny still has the opportunity here to be the first one to have a look at it now for his next turn at the board. And 180. Stamp it. 2.08 a.m. That's three 180s in a matter of a minute. It's contagious like a yawn. Don't even talk about... Oh, my God. I'm about to yawn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so... That was... Oh, you're... Whatever. <laughs> All right, Manfred coming up to the board. Sitting at 177. Kenny Doyle with an opportunity to win it here and tied up at one leg apiece. Single six. Oh no, he won't. Oh. 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 Double 16. There it is. And Kenny Doyle ties it up at one leg apiece in this final. And guess what? We are going to a third and final leg. Hill, hill. This is it. Oh, you're yawning, Joel. Come on, man. Do you yawn? Pull it together. No, I said I was going to yawn. I'm so glad that we're going to be, this will uh, conclude our stream for the night at the end of this. Come back tomorrow morning, but I am so glad that we'll be done after this because I just got a text message from a buddy of mine. I don't know what level he's in, but he lost. He's like, the worst we can do now is third. So that means they have to be still, have to shoot like four more matches. Oh my, which is over two, uh, two hours. About an hour and a half. Depending two hours. What level is he? I have no idea. Probably like four or five. Two hours. Yeah. So they're not going to get done till four ten a.m. And we appreciate you guys uh, tuning in to the stream with us. If you can do us a favor and like the page and like this post, that'd be great. If you are watching this post live. Uh, please give us a like on the uh, Red Eye Rhino group page or Red Eye Rhino business page. And there it is. A 148 there for Christian. Yeah, that was a good time to open up with that. Yes, it was. Man, Fred may be quick to follow. Kevin's in. Kevin. Oops. Oh, my goodness. Nick. I let it slide a few times. Did I say Kevin before? Yeah, you said it like two other times. Well, you need to say something because I'm just like a little <laughs> brain dead right now. But Manfred, Manny. Come on, Manny. Oh, oh boy. boy. <sighs> Picked the wrong game. Yeah. But he's not. He's, he still has an opportunity. But Kenny here. Gonna try and make it hurt. Locking in on that triple 20. See if we can hit it with a second dart. Does so. Let's see if we can hit it with his third. Oh, a ton there for Kenny Doyle. Christian here with a 180. Stamp it. 2.12 a.m. The things we've seen, though, with here in this level when players can't get in. When players take a, a round or two to get in. They uh, don't really 
uh, take too long to catch back up in points. Yes. Well, the objective is to not freeze your partner. Correct. Because if you can't get in, your partner hopefully is shooting well, and then you do not freeze, and he gets the opportunity to win. Are we going to see it again? Kenny Man. Doyle with a 180. Stamp it. 2.13 a.m. Bad guy. Well, not too far behind him. It's Christian. <gasps> Go down. Go. Oh, nice darts there from wow. Christian. A 137 there to set himself up with the 36 for his next turn at the board. Uh oh. Round of 81 there. Oh, yeah. Nice oh, darts. Oh, 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 wow. Double bull for Manfred. He was just trying to get down so Kenny cannot freeze if Kenny were to miss this out. 160, trip 20, trip 20, double 20. Now he's going to play for the freeze. Mm. Ooh, not good there. Mm. Christian needing double 18 for the win. And there it is. It. Christian and Manfred are crowned your Masters 01 doubles champions here at NDA Team Dart 2017 in Bally's Hotel and Casino. This is Red Rhino Productions. You know what that means, Joel? We are finished. We are done, son. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning or late tomorrow morning. Uh, for the doubles, cricket, no. team cricket. Team cricket. Yeah, team cricket tomorrow. Round one. And singles in the evening, if I'm correct. Team cricket tomorrow will be pool play. It's not going to be a bracket format, so everybody's going to be paired up in a pool, and they're going to play each other once. Yep, and then in the evening is uh, single cricket, which evening session should be good. So Yes, it should be really good. All right, thank you for tuning in, guys. Night.